arguably the coolest thing about this corner of the building the clock that's on the corner of this building. Now, a lot of people don't even know this is here, but there is an historical clock on this corner right here. And it was moved from what was originally the Chapman and Turner building, which was across the street. And you can see actually, there's a little post right there and there's a small clock on the corner over there. That's actually a representation of where the clock on this building used to be. There was a full building there. There's this wild story behind it and like a storm came and high winds blew off part of the roof and the clock like fell off the building and there, the stories say that it killed a girl. Killed a girl. Killed a girl. Quick side note, I did do my research after I recorded this and I found out that it was much more than just a story. It was true. It was a couple, it's Mr. and Mrs. Frank Hendrickson, whose lives were claimed in 1954 during Hurricane Hazel. When I was telling a story, it was really just a ghost story that I had heard. So condolences with the family members. Uh, this was not that long ago. So moving on. The Historical Society uh, refurbished it and then they relocated it to here on this building. There's actually a plaque downstairs that commemorates it and talks about it a little bit. So through this door is the clock. Without further ado, here it is. and they keep the time, and then every minute on the minute, it advances this main gear right here, which then advances the hands on the clock. And if we, if we stay here long enough, we might actually get to see it move. There it goes. Lots of cool ideas for this. We'll get into that. Yeah, so there's the clock.